Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to explore creating a multi-sprite free bone character from a single image. So we're basically going to be creating our own bone structure and uh, masking out certain parts of our image to create separate sprites. Now the image we're going to be using is this image right here that I've downloaded from Shutterstock. We're going to be using this mummy character here on the bottom right. So let's just close down our browser right now because we actually have that mummy PNG on our desktop. And I'm going to click and drag that directly into Crazy Talk Animator 3. So once that's in, I'm just going to import it in as a G3 Freebone Actor. And it'll take us automatically into Composer mode here, where it'll prompt us to add a bone structure. You can see Add Bone is already highlighted in red. So what we want to do is we want to start at the root of our character, which will be placed uh, around the hip. So this area right here is, is the hip of our character. So we want to kind of place a uh, our first bone right in the middle of the hip. So right about uh, right about there. That should be fine. And the second one we're going to place is at the base of our chest, so kind of right about here. And then we're going to place one at the base of the neck, and where the neck connects to the skull, which would probably be about here. And then we're going to place one at the forehead. All right, so that's our basic uh, start. And this is going to be bone one right here, so keep that in mind. Now we want to create the upper body structure uh, for the uh, both the arms here. I'm going to start with the uh, so we're going to start with the chest here. This is going to be the chest bone. And we're going to add bones from this one. So we're going to branch out from here. I'm going to select add bone again. And we're going to place the next bone right about here where uh, the upper shoulder um, of the left arm will be. So about, uh, about right here. We'll just kind of place it right there. And then we'll do the elbow and then the wrist for our character. And then we'll do somewhere around the edge of the fingers there. Okay. And that's good for that arm. And we'll do the same thing for the right arm then. So I'm going to add a bone here. And we're going to place another one on the shoulder right here. We want to rotate everything, then the elbow, and then the wrist. And then we're going to place one on the fingers. Now, don't, don't worry if the uh, bones overlap. That'll be uh, uh, different for each character. All right, so that's that. Now, we're going to start with the lower body structure. So, again, select the hip bone, which is the, uh, the bone one here. This is the root. And we're going to add some bones from here. I'm going to start with the character's right leg first. Let's do something uh, right about uh, here. This will be kind of where the uh, right leg rotates from, about right there. And just click right there. And then click one, once on the knee, and then the ankle, and on the toe right there. Basically, you want to place a bone where uh, the upper part of the limb is going to be rotating from. So we're going to do the left leg, or his, uh, yeah, his left leg now. All right, so we'll select add bone. And then this will be basically the rotation point for the upper uh, left leg there. So let's kind of place one right there. Uh, place a bone right about there. And then we'll go down to the knee and the ankle and the toe. All right, so once you're done that, I'm right clicking, by the way, to uh, cease removing or cease adding bones. Uh, so what you want to do once you finish that, you go ahead and preview your results. So I'll take my hand right here and you can preview it. You can see we can move it around like this and obviously it's kind of uh, messing everything else up so we're going to need to do some masking a little bit later on. So, uh, we can see the same result with the foot here as he does his little uh, ballerina move with the foot and it's kind of stretching his left leg along with it. So that's not something we want. We want to uh, basically create separate layers for each individual uh, body part here, each individual limb. So let's go ahead and close that down and let's start by creating a new layer on our character's left arm. So with the left arm selected, it's bone six in this case, what I'm going to do is just go to my layer manager and we're going to duplicate that layer. What that's going to do is that's going to ask if we want to bring up our masking editor. So we'll go ahead and select yes. And then basically what we want to do here is mask out everything except for our character's left arm. So I'm going to increase the hardness to maximum levels and we'll maybe just decrease the bone size a little bit here, maybe something like this. And let's draw a nice little area around the left arm. Now before we do that, I want to make sure that I have show reference point activated because this is going to show where my bones are and basically we want to kind of have a circular area around this upper bone here. So I'm going to click and drag and uh, I'm using a mouse here so it's not going to be completely accurate. I'm not very good at, uh, not very accurate with my mouse here. Uh, you know, try and keep it as round as possible, round it out, something like that. Okay, and that should be good. And then you want to mask out all the rest of the body there as well. All right, so let's uh, do that really quickly. We can increase our brush size to make it a little bit quicker for us. So we just do the entire body pretty much. And for this uh, bone six, 
this is all we're going to have, this uh, section right here. Okay, so once you've done that, what you want to do next is remove the background. That's going to remove that part of the character from the background, which in this case is the root. So we press OK. And we can go uh, back into uh, our preview mode here, and we can uh, move everything up. And now you notice that it's basically taken away some of the, uh, the, the face. And you may have issues like this where there's kind of like a shadowy outline as well. And this can all be removed by going back to the root layer and masking that out. We're going to adjust the masking in the root layer here. So let's select the root layer and go to Mask Editor one more time. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to erase the stuff. Uh, that I don't want. You can hold Alt and scroll your mouse button, by the way, to zoom in. You can use the pan tool here. Uh, you can erase the stuff that you want to remain on the background here. So let's move the uh, change the size to something quite a bit smaller because we're going to do some more accurate stuff here. So we want his teeth to remain. So let's just kind of uh, um, keep those in along with the black outline and everything. All right, so we'll keep all this stuff in there. Um, this part is his mouth, so we'll retain that. Oops, I made a little mistake there. And not too, not too easy masking with the uh, with the mouth sometimes. So we'll just kind of get this part out of there. There we go. And forgive my uh, terrible accuracy with the mouth, but uh, I'm trying to get as accurate as possible here. That's his jaw, so I'm going to retain that. All right, and we should be good to go from there. All right, so that's basically uh, solved the problem there. So let's close that down. And then we can uh, take that uh, bone and move it out. And you can see we have the uh, teeth remaining. But we forgot to actually uh, mask out the background there as well. So let's just do that, or that uh, outline. So if you, if you have a situation like that, you can just use your brush and just kind of make sure you brush along the outer edge of that layer. So this should be taking care of the issue, even though we can't really see it right now. We'll go ahead and close that down. And boom, there we go. Okay, problem solved. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on the right arm then. So the same thing with the right arm, same procedure. What you want to do is, uh, it happens to be bone 10 in this case. I'm going to duplicate the layer, and we're going to go into the masking editor here. And basically the same thing. Uh, we're just going to create a nice little mask around the hand right here. So I'm masking out all this stuff. Again, I'm not being completely accurate here because I'm pretty crappy with the most masking to be honest. Let's get to as accurate as we possibly can here. Just like that. Okay, that's not too bad. And we'll fix that other stuff later on. And we'll do the bottom here as well then. Right around the bottom part of the hand. Try and get a little bit more detail in there a little bit later. Okay, let's zoom in small here. Let's just uh, fix that part right there. And again, basically what we're doing is just uh, making it so that everything else is masked out aside from the body part that we want to show up on this layer. Okay, just one little more section here, and then we'll call it quits. And we'll go into... Uh, maximum brush size mode and then we'll brush all the rest of it out okay so we don't need any of this stuff uh, make sure that we don't uh, get that bandage part there let's just mask out everything and the head as well Oop. okay there we go and this midsection here a little bit too large on the uh, brush size possibly all this stuff out of there. And then also we don't want this part here, which happens to be the jaw of the character. It looks like it's another finger, but it's actually the character's jaw. All right, and let's get more of the black outline here. All right. We shall work with that. Okay, so that's the uh, arm that we want. And again, what we want to do again is remove the background. So just select Remove Background. It'll say background mask removed, and then you can go back to your, uh, we'll test it out first. So you can move it around like this. You can see now that we need to uh, mask out that outline as well as restore the character's torso. So in this case, we're going to go to root again and restore, or go into the masking here. I'm going to uh, mask out 
again, this outline here so we don't get that kind of halo thing going on. Just like this. And then what we want to do is uh, also we want to use our erase tool and we want to restore basically anything that we think would be part of our character's torso. So we can make a rounded kind of section up here. Let's kind of round it out so it looks like he has some sort of torso. Okay. And then on the side, we'll do the same thing, just like this, Shoop. straight up. And that could be his uh, torso. All right, so just this is the material that we want to use as our character's uh, torso. All right, I think maybe a little bit more. Okay. And we'll work with that. Good. Okay, so that should uh, fix that problem. And then if we uh, move our bone over to the side, there we go. We have a little, at least a little bit of a torso that we can uh, rotate on and everything like that. Okay, now I'm going to be doing the legs really quickly here. I'm not going to make you wait around for it, so I'll just kind of fast forward this part and we'll come back when I'm finished. Alright, so once you've done all your general masking, it's time to adjust the layers of your character. Because if we take a look at this uh, left arm, for example, you can see it'll go in front of the torso, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. So let's go ahead and take care of that by uh, just minimizing, or we'll twirl up all these uh, sub-layers here, which we don't really need. And let's take the left arm here, and let's put that, put that behind the roots. So we'll drag it down here, and then you can see now it'll actually go behind the torso and the head, which is exactly where we want it. So let's do the right arm then. The right arm will actually go in front of everything, um, but it's going behind the right leg. So we want to make sure we get that in front of the right leg by clicking and dragging. We'll just click and drag it to the top, since it's pretty much going to be on the top anyways. There you go. And that'll be in the correct place above everything else. And then the left leg. So the left leg currently is pretty much uh, above everything except for the left leg. So we need to make sure we fix that. Bring that above the left leg. There we go. Now it's in front of this leg, which is exactly where we want it. And then we have the uh, left leg right here, which is pretty much behind everything, uh, which is okay, except for the uh, torso. So we need to bring that down below the torso there as well. And then we'll get something like this. Cool, all right, so we have all the layers taken care of then. Okay, so once your layers are all correct, you're pretty much done. However, let's talk about one more thing, and that's how to refine the appearance of the sprites. So if we take this left arm, for example, and we pull it out, you can notice that the upper part of the left arm is actually uh, taking its material from the, from the character's face. Now, if we want to modify that, we can do so by just uh, selecting that bone there and going into this uh, option here, which is Launch to External Image Editor, and that's going to load up that particular sprite in Photoshop. Okay? So once we have it in Photoshop, then we can, uh, you know, zoom in a little bit here. And uh, what I'm going to do is just do a little bit of quick uh, editing in Photoshop here. Let's use a larger, a little bit of a larger brush here, maybe. And I'm just going to left, uh, sorry, rather hold Alt and uh, just undo that. Hold Alt and left click on this white area here to give us some white. So we can just kind of basically draw over this entire facial area right here. And... And then you can go back down to here. And I'm going to press Alt and click over here to give us some gray. And we can just uh, um, create our own little sprite from scratch. Okay, we don't have to be too accurate here. We're not going to worry too much about that. But uh, then I can just go and uh, left click, or rather Alt and left click down here. Give us some black and maybe uh, give us a little bit of a smaller size for our brush. Maybe four pixels should be good. Well, let's just draw right around, draw a nice outline. Again, I'm using a mouse here, and that's going to, you know, be giving me probably not the best results, but uh, just bear with me for a moment while I finish the upper arm of my uh, mummy character here. You know, fill in the rest there as well if we want. All right, so maybe fill in this part here. And then we can just, you know, create our own bandages, something like uh, like this. And then 
another advantage over here. All right, so we'll just work with that for now, okay? <laughs> My patch up job of bandage, creating bandages for our uh, zombie arm here. So once you're finished that, just go ahead and uh, save it. And then we can close down Photoshop. And then if I move this arm out, boom, there is our completely new sprite that we've created uh, just with a little uh, Photoshop foo there. All right, and you can do the same thing. I mean, for the, uh, for the uh, torso here, you obviously will probably want to get rid of all that hand on the torso. But I just kind of want to show you an example of how you can, uh, how you can do that. Now there's one final thing you want to do as well is you want to go to your layer manager and make sure that all your main bones here are double bound. So just click on this uh, button right here and that'll double bind all your main sprites. So uh, the uh, arm, two arms and the uh, two legs and that'll turn the main bones here uh, into our main, no main nodes rather into a red color. And then you can just go back into stage mode. And once in stage mode we can take a look at animating our character with the uh, motion key editor down here. So just click that, and uh, you can see we have bone one, which is our uh, root bone selected in this case. If we rotate that, it's going to rotate our entire character. If we uh, move it around, it'll move the entire character as well. Just pressing controls, Control Z to undo that. Uh, however, if we take our chest bone here, we can move that around. And you can see we can do a nice uh, hula hoop kind of uh, move like that. We can also take the uh, leg bones here, or feet bone rather, if we lock that lock those two bones we can take advantage of the human ik and we can take the hip bone and then do a sort of animation like this where we can have our character kind of idling okay so let's go ahead and give that a shot let's just press reset all first and press f3 and go into our timeline let's take it to about frame 25 or 30 or something and let's do a quick little animation so let's uh move him down like that and then we can take his uh chest maybe uh move that down as well rotate it slightly and then we can take these arms and kind of just uh, move them down like this and so we'll take this one and kind of rotate that downwards as well and you can uh, take the head and just kind of move it a little bit further down and then we have an animation like this so this could be our cool you know zombie idle animation uh, for a video game or what have you uh, cool so we can just close that down and if we want to create a you know more interesting sort of uh, movement we can also open up our motion track here and in, with the transform track open we can right click on that transform keyframe and go to transition curve and then we can create something like this we can create like a stuttering start a stuttering end and then we can you know loop this as much as we want and create sort of a cool kind of stuttering zombie uh motion like that all right and playback we'll have something like that all right, cool. So that's about all there is uh, for this tutorial, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a lot about how to uh, mask out certain parts of your character's body and create separate sprites and uh, set up a bone structure and all that fun stuff. So make sure you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com and our YouTube channel as well. And I will see you in the next video.